Okay, this is my first in a series of Rhino tutorials. Rhino is a 3D modeling program called NURBS Modeling. I think it's non-uniform rational beast blinds or something like that. Um, anyway, this is a program you can see up here. This is an evaluation copy. And if I was to jump back over here to the website, let's see if I can find it here. You can see here that this is the website. You can do some amazing things in Rhino. But if you click on download, you can click on the evaluation, like say if I'm going to the Rhino 4 evaluation, you know, you basically just download it. You can use it, I believe, 25 times, or no, you can use it indefinitely. You can save 25 times before it needs to be registered. But I'm going to go down here to 3.0 evaluation, and again, it tells you that you, it only saves 25 times. Um, you fill out this basic thing and install it, and you have your Rhino program. Now, one of the reasons I like this is I will build models in this and import them into Bryce, you know, and there are some really nice plugins and stuff for Rhino and other programs that will do the full rendering and stuff, but I prefer Bryce because I'm more comfortable with it. But anyway, I want to show you a quick tutorial to make a pretty cool thing. You can see that it's set up in four windows here, and if you use your right mouse button, you can drag your perspectives around, you know, your windows. But I want to start with either a front or a right perspective. So if I want to double click on that, it brings it and zooms it in. I'm going to use this as my baseline here. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to hold down the button under the control point curve. And I'm going to go out here this thing that says sketch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw kind of if you were looking at a half of a water glass or something, a goblet that was sawed in half, I can drag up like this and drag back down and I'm just kind of doing you can see the profile and it doesn't really matter if you screw this up a little bit but I'm gonna get out here back to the middle and then you can see I'm done and I'll hit enter now if I select my curve that I just drew which is kinda ugly I admit and then up here in my command I type revolve and it wants to know what axis I want to revolve this on. And I'm going to go ahead and select this green line since I started on this thing. And if you hold shift, it locks it into a straight line. So I'm going to click OK, click it, and then do OK. And it's going to, what it's going to do is it's going to rotate, or it's going to revolve this completely around, exact, and 360 degrees. So what I have here is a 3D version of what I just drew. And I'm going to go back to my full version out here and you can see I can rotate this around and if I hold shift it'll actually drag it. Now let me go ahead and open my perspective window and you can see that it's pretty cool. I have a, th a full 3D thing that I, I sh created now and if I actually click this and then click my blue button it will render this in the window and give you an idea of what it looks like. Okay and that's my 3D shape. Okay I can also if I right click on it it'll render. Close that. If you click this little circle up here, it pops up this material box. I can do layer or plug-in or basic. I'm just going to click basic for now and I'm going to tell it I'm going to use an actual say metallic look. Maybe make it real glossy. I won't make it transparent and um, maybe I'll choose a color like gold. Alright, so if I render it now, it's kind of a real glossy gold color. Now, if you really wanted to kind of get into this and make it, you know, a, say a plastic look, you can even add some transparency. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and click render again. It's a little bit quirky because my capture program is running at the same time. But you can see now that my goblet is in transparent. All right. You can also select, say, textures. For example, you know, I want maybe that to be my texture. Um, and then I want this to be my bump map. So maybe, let's see if I've got anything that kind of looks similar. It doesn't really have to match. Let's say I just want this to be my texture. It obviously isn't glass, but I'm going to go with it and I'm going to render it. Okay. So it's kind of ugly, obviously. But you can see how it's got this texture. Um, and I can't really tell with the bump maps because of the texture I have, but it really works pretty well. And I'm going to glue no. 
All right. So anyway, that's the basics of using Rhino to create this, you know, 3D shape kind of instantly. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you send me some examples of things that you've created with it. Thanks a lot.